Hey, hello guys. Hey, today I would like to discuss about the script debugging in Surface Now, which is the so let me explain why this script debugging is very useful for us and why this became the very important feature mainly for developers. So the name itself says script debugging. Script debugging in the sense uh, we'll just debug the for example you have the security debugging to right? the same way you have the script debugging. So with the help of script debugging you can check the what the when you update a record or if any changes have happened to that record, how the process is going on, how it is going through different stages of scripts and what are the different scripts and what are the functions that it's going to through the process before updating the record or after updating the record. And the script debugging, so, but there is one drawback in this, like script de debugging is just restricted to the server side. So let me show you the, what I show you with an example, how we can use the script debugging in service mode. And prelims can be very useful for uh, fixing the issues. And also, if you want to know what are the process that a record is going through, and etc. So, let's me explain you with an example. So, if you see here, here I'm going through my personal instance, and I'm going. So, where you can find the, where you can find script debugger is in the left navigation. You can just write debugger. So if you see it is under system diagnostics. So let me open the script debugger and let me show you what the functions they have and etc etc. So in this we have breakpoints, log points, call stack, session logs, and the session log you can see all the logs related to the particular transaction. And also here we have five options here: stop debugging and resume script execution, and also step over and also step into and step out i will explain you in detail on of each of the things now so i will just explain you how we can use this so for example if you are just updating an incident record so let's say i am opening some incident record and uh, i am just updating this record so before updating this i would like to know through what all functions this is going through and what all the things that are updating and all this kind of stuff i would like to know so Okay, let's go and let's check how it's updating. So, for example, there is a business tool. And yeah, this is the business tool that I have recently created. The business tool name is script debugger functionality. So let's see what we are doing here. Yeah, this is the business tool which runs when before update business tool, and what it is just doing. So oh, it's not just it's not doing anything. It's just checking the in this array, it is just seeing what is the array. Here, it's not doing any functionality. We are just doing some blah blah small things. So here, let's say after uh, this business rule, when this particular GS dot info has came at this particular point of time, I would like to know what the functionality is going on, what is happening here. So I'll just save here, and if you want to check what's happening to this particular array field here. So we can just put here on the top of every server side script, maybe UI action, business tool script include every server script is having this script debugger. What we just know to do is just open the script debugger here. Yeah, I have a script debugger. It is showing some lot of things. Script debugger is all done. Okay, script debugger is all there. Oh, it's already showing the breakpoints. Yeah, now only I have this breakpoint, right? Yeah, this is the breakpoint I have dropped here. So let's see what will happen. When we just start the script, start the script debugger. So in order to start the script, script debugger, we can just do from here or here, or else we can just press on F12, F2. So I have just clicked on F2. So it is already started, and I'll just update a record. So let me update this record, and I'm saving this record. If you see now, the this record is not saved. Yet. Still, it will be paused at that particular breakpoint. So we'll see here. In the script debugger what's happening so in the script debugger yeah see it's breaked here so it stopped here so after this i want to know through which functions it is going to and what are the functions and based on which conditions it is updating so we have function here called stop debug if you click on this debugging will be stopped and if of the if you click on this uh, it is stopped here so it will resume and it will move forward so i want to see what is the function which is going to after this one so I will just click on the step over next function. So I'm clicking on the step over next function. So if you see it's coming to this loop, okay. Next where it is going. Okay. 
since it is 3 we have 3 car bike and chip go to 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay after this where it's going oh so so it's going through some incident and it's shaking it has opened or not oh i want to see what is there in this has a reopen function i want to go into this one and say before that i will explain you for a few things so here you can see the business rules is ready so now you will get to know that after that particular business rule this business rule is getting executed and in this particular business rule we have this particular script include and also if you want to see what is the script here so if you want to go into this function we have an option called step into function if you click on this wow it went into the script include oh nice after going to the script include i want to see the function okay i'm clicking on yeah it has you okay this is the function so now i've got to know okay this is the function it's going on so i want to just resume it or i want to just move forward okay i click run oh nice it's paused and it's completed so let's again i just stop there so see here it is just showing what are the things it is going through etc etc and also here we have some other option called breakpoint setting so for example let me show you with example we have breakpoint functions here so let me explain you that in detail so for example if you see here we have this car bike and jeep i want to debug only when the when this array is a jeep so for that i need to write some breakpoint here we have some option we just need to right click on this we will get the option called add condition in the add condition i can just write some boolean condition for example if array of k equal to bike only the breakpoint should be there otherwise breakpoint should i can click on enable so it will be accepted and now i'll save the record and i will never again start the debugging okay so how i can debug now it's a simple thing already it's open so let's okay so let's open this debugger and let's update the record again yeah let me update it so i'm updating something here so before that make sure that this is already active so here if you see here is the thing and here here you on floating on this you will get array of bike okay then when this array is act bike only it will just stop here breaking point and it will check for further so i'll just update this record here if you see here you will get a notification that the debugger has started okay i'll go to the debugger and i'll see oh it stopped here when k equal to 1 okay if you see here k equal to 1 when you see k equal to back oh nice so now if i just move it if i just uh, resume or stop the or it will complete because it will not move forward but if you want to do next what happening what happening you can just do back and see here so it's like typically like security rules that we use security rules debugging and also with the help of this debugging it will be very useful in many cases who some of the people might know by i mean some person might be new to this uh, service now and they want to debug something how it's going on etc etc this feature will be very useful not only for them even for uh, support people for fixing the issue it will be very useful so this is the thing so this is a script debugging service now so why script debugging is very useful in order to resolve issue by bugs faster this is the main use so this is the concept of today so we have learned what is script debugging and more so if you want to learn more about this you can just go to the service note doc, service note docs and you can see happy coding thank you guys bye bye have a good day